no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. The cattle are lowing, the baby awaits. But little Lord Jesus, no crying he makes. I love thee, Lord Jesus, look down from the sky. And stay by my bedside till morning is night. Be near me, Lord Jesus, I ask thee to stay close by me forever and love me, I pray. Bless all the dear children in thy tender care and feed us for heaven to live with thee there. Hey there, LCBC, especially all my friends at LCBC Ephrata. I hope you guys are doing great and getting ready for Christmas. Uh, my name is Dan, and we just heard a song from Jordan from Ephrata as well, uh, singing Away in a Manger. What a classic song around Christmas time, maybe even a little underappreciated because it's so simple. Um, and it just gives us a, the picture of a, a little baby coming into the in, into our world at Christmas time, our little Lord Jesus, asleep on the hay in a manger. And the imagery that creates is so powerful to me uh, to think that First of all, God sent his son Jesus uh, in the form of a human so that God could relate to what we experience in our lives, uh, what it's like to be a human and to have struggles and challenges. And yet Jesus never sinned, which is amazing. Um, but even more than that, that Jesus came in the form of a baby uh, in a helpless, humble state as a baby where there was, wasn't even any room that he had to be born in a manger in the hay uh, of Mary and Joseph. And it reminds me of uh, just uh, the fact that, that God has so much power and yet he chooses not to use it in our lives. He chooses not to control, not to, not to get our attention with noise, but to work in subtle ways all the time. Uh, especially like in a form of baby Jesus uh, when he was uh, arriving on the earth. And it's kind of like the story of Elijah when God spoke to Elijah on the mountain, which is found in 1 Kings 19, verses 11 to 12. <clears throat> this is what happened between God and Elijah. The Lord said, Go out and stand before me on the mountain, the Lord told him. And as Elijah stood there, the Lord passed by and a mighty windstorm hit the mountain. It was such a terrible blast that the rocks were torn loose, but the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind, there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, there was a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, there was the sound of a gentle whisper. And guess what? That gentle whisper was the Lord speaking to Elijah. And so when we think about Christmas and that Jesus came to the earth as a baby in the form that he did, as uh God wants to get our attention every day of our lives. He wants our focus. He wants every thought and, and, our, and every feeling in our heart to be directed toward him. And yet he doesn't speak to us in the form of, of windstorms and, and earthquakes and fire in our lives. He speaks to us in the form of a gentle whisper or some uh, translations say a still small voice. The little Lord Jesus got our attention when he arrived for Christmas, and uh, we should be, we should be captivated, captivated by that, in a way that just turns our heart and our thoughts toward Him all the time. So this Christmas, I just encourage you guys to slow down, quiet down, calm down your lives, so that you can pay attention to the gentle whisper that God has, and how He's speaking to you in your life today. Father God, thank you so much for 
our little Lord Jesus, for sending Jesus to the earth on Christmas and, and for what that means for our lives, that our Savior came to be with us. Thank you for making a way for us to have a relationship with you, God. Help us to, to quiet our lives enough to hear your voice in our lives and how you want to lead us today. God, we thank you. We love you. And we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.